hibiscus. What a beautiful, beautiful, lovely pink tea, kind of a lemony floral flavor that it has. Very popular and very effective for fighting colds and flus and especially for lowering high blood pressure. This is a great herb for doing that. And is roselle and hibiscus the same plant? Well, they're both in the hibiscus family, but they are two distinct varieties. Ro hibiscus rosus sinensis is the variety from Southwest Asia, right? And it's uh, very well known in traditional Chinese medicine um, for transforming phlegm, clearing toxins, right? A lot of phlegm in the body. This is a TCM term. It doesn't just mean congestion the way we mean it in the West. These are things that can, phlegm can cl clog arteries, right? So you've got your heart health there. You've got digestive issues. You can have menstrual cramping, too much phlegm in the system, urinary tract infections, right? So it's used for all these purposes in TCM. Hibiscus sabdorifa, this is called roselle, and it's from Africa, Angola to be specific. They think that's where it's native from. Wonderful history. The fusion has been often used there. It's called carcade um, and used to ease menstrual cramps. Again, digestive issues. Very similar, right? They can be used interchangeably, these plants. Um, in TCM, they'll use the buds to create a poultice and uh, rub it on shingles. Fantastic remedy you may not have thought of before, been aware of. It's also sometimes called shoe flower in China because the petals will be used to polish shoes. In Polynesia, the bark has been used to make grass skirts. Uh, and it's also called the China rose. In fact, Rosa sinensis means rose of China. It's not in the rose family, has nothing to do with roses, but it got that name when it was sort of first discovered somewhere in the 1750s in China as being such a beautiful pink colored flower. Um, so you've got your two varieties, Roselle, native to Africa, that is actually Hibiscus sabdorifa, and you have your Asian variety, Hibiscus rosa sinensis. There you have it. Two beautiful varieties, use them interchangeably, use them. It's a very healthy plant and easy to use and safe. Visit us at whiterabbitinstituteofhealing.com to find out more about hibiscus and these varieties. And if you've got a question or comment, leave it below. I'd love to hear from you.